Guys, you're gonna learn today some tips and tricks from our last pro class on shower panels. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, now what do you want to tell, tell them how you template it and everything or what? Yeah, I guess, all right, so when you're you're coming into a new house, the way we do it is we always do the back wall first, okay? And then you're gonna work your way out. Okay, you're gonna do the walls and then you're gonna do the front and then that way you'll have all of that concealed. The reason why I like to do it that way is because this line right here on the back side of the wall does not have to be perfect. Because if the wall's bowing or whatever, and you bring this other panel in, you're gonna have the reveal on the side of it. And you're not gonna have yep. something facing this way where when you look straight in yep. here, you're, you're gonna see the, see the ugly more. edge. Even the shower, if the shower head's over here, uh -huh. the back wall's over there, that's what the one you're gonna go first. Yes, so, yes. because this is not a real pretty edge also, but when All you right. bring it in here, see how that makes that a clean edge? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's kind of us prepping for the big wood. Let's say if they're doing a serious shower wall and a big custom walk-in shower, it's a little excessive. I'm usually bringing the wood. Let's say they're putting a shower wall in here because I know they're not gonna install the shower glass inside the shower. They're gonna give them as much room as possible, right? So you're gonna do this. So, bingo. So I'll tell my shower guy, I've got uh, back, backing to this threshold and then, you know, I know that measurement, so I'll even put a piece of tape at the top of my shower panel. And then if I know I've got two by fours behind my sheetrock, like here and here, or wherever for those hinges, uh, you can also put a piece of tape on your panel. See, so I've got my two by six back there for you to mount to, because you cannot mount the shower door just to that piece of wood. Mm. It's gonna do this. Because yeah. those are heavy pieces of glass. Those, and the shower guy's gonna stick screws in to here hoping you know they gotta they gotta hit wood so the other thing too is when you're doing adding pieces of wood like this or like this you're gonna use quick coat yeah. you're not gonna use the 2p10 no like here like you saw us put it on here with this little strip right here yeah. we just use 2p10 it won't hold it so what you need to do is you need to put quick coat just in that seam put tape on one side and then you open it up, fill it with quick coat, and then you put it together. So this glass is doors. for the glass doors. Okay. This shower curtain shower rod. curtain rod, and it's going to give you a pretty edge for on the front. Oh. Oftentimes, if you're, I'm going to ask my customer, are you going to have glass doors installed? Or are you just going to throw a shower curtain on this? They say shower curtain. It's we're going to do added. this. Okay. So do you all understand how we're talking about doing the, the edge and then where you're going to stop it? That's, that's going to be... How do you glue the panels to the wall? Yeah. Silicone. 100%. 100% silicone. What's this red stuff on the wall? So the red stuff on the wall is red guard. You're going to want to put two coats of red guard on the wall before you apply the, sh the shower panels. What's water Red Guard do? Red Guard is a waterproof membrane <laughs> that goes on the wall. That way you don't rot out the, the wood so behind it. So you're telling it. me I want to have this shower wall prepped like I could install tile on it before Correct. I install those shower foam walls? That's exactly. 100% waterproof and customizable? Exactly. Wow. wow. All right. Yeah, I'm following you. Yes. I see. I don't know what the I question know. is. Granite shower walls were incredibly more money than a granite countertop. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's liability there, like you just heard that story yeah. I told you. So that's factored into all of that. You're working with bigger chunks. Yeah. You're going vertical. It's dangerous, so yeah. it's... Yeah. You have less risk with epoxy walls, mm -hmm. but it's still more steps than... An, uh, a little bit more steps than a countertop. So factor that into the price. And that's all factored on your experience and prices in your region. So you kind of look at what what uh, granite installers are charging. One place to look on sh uh, custom shower walls. Go look what a tile guy is charging. You could Google these questions. What's it cost for a, tile, a custom tile shower in my area? 
Angie's List or all those will tell you. So normally what we do is we're gonna dry fit our panels with the pink foam first, okay? On site. So on site. With you to the template. Yes. Because then we're with a sheetrock knife or a multi-tool or what have you. But I'm gonna make sure that like this, we're gonna have to seam this together. You put this way, it kind of sucks, but if you put tape on the front and the back, this becomes one, one solid panel. piece and it's not going anywhere, mm -hmm. okay? But the easiest way to do that for your shower valves and all that is all you do is you put this in here and you lay it up to where it's gonna go and you hit and it scores it and it scores it then you take your hole saw and then you pop a hole through there mm -hmm. oh, shit. because it's already marked right there right there and you don't even have to template the holes yep. and it's perfect every time yep. so then after you uh cut your holes like you see here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back after that and then tape this up and then we're going to pour. The mesh goes on top all that. The mesh, everything goes over the top of that. Why do we do that? Because if you don't, then you're going to have what we call like starburst, where it everything drains. goes, drains into this. And then you're wasting epoxy. Yeah. This way, you're... You're you aren't flush. You're yeah. cutting this out anyway. You're going to cut it out later, but we're going to pour it. Your design's going to look beautiful throughout that whole thing. Yep. Then when you're going to install, you flip it over, you put the hole saw because the hole saw is gonna hold it in here, and then you just drill right through there, it goes through the epoxy, and yep. off you go. You fall on that? Yeah. Yeah. So then you're gonna use 100% silicone in all the seams up and down. Yep. And if you're not really good at siliconing, you haven't done it a lot, tape, tape it. the sides. Tape yeah. left side, tape right side, Give yourself a sixteenth to a eighth. tight eighth gap. That's right. Heavy, um, you know, fill that with caulking. Take your finger and tool it really tight. You want to like be pushing it in that gap. So I have a lot of paper towels with me. And I'll wipe a big blob off, wipe it on the paper towels, wipe a blob off. And then I start wiping the whole thing until I can wipe it and have barely anything on my finger. And then I grab both pieces of tape and peel them off and say, adios. All right, is there any questions on the on the showers? I mean, y'all learned how to build one and you poured it and all of that, which is that one. High level tutorial on cutting a window into a shower panel and trimming it out. Uh, yeah. We're doing that next week. That's one thing I'm wondering about in the niche. I do have a niche. Things. Yeah, the shower niches. You could get the. Uh, they're almost like aftermarket with a yeah. flange around yeah. it. Those ones. Schluter makes them. Schluter makes yeah. them. And then you just epoxy on those. Yeah, you could. No, you. Oh, you just leave them gray or black. Yeah. Right. That way, it's just an accent piece. You cut the hole and then silicone it in, and that thing's ready to rock. Is oh, that what okay. you're talking? Yeah. About? Yeah, it's already finished. Oh, okay, they are finished. Mm -hmm. But I did do a niche. A tile in one, you know what I'm saying? Out of foam. A shower niche. Yeah. It worked good. That does it for the tips and tricks. If you liked those and you want some hands-on training, hit the description down below. That'll take you to the class schedule where you could sign up. Until next time, adios.